What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the wood shop. All right. There's a lot of debate on what the most important tool in the wood shop is. Some people say it's the table saw. Some people say the band saw. Some guys say the router, the chop saw, the hand tools, the chisels. Well, they're all wrong. Every single one of them is wrong. In this video, we'll tell you what the most important tool in the shop is. Come check it out. You're probably like, what is he talking about? He's lost his mind. It's not the table saw, it's not the band saw. He's crazy. Well, in my opinion, you're on your feet every single day, all day. So the most important tools you can have are a good pair of shoes or boots. In my case, I love wearing boots and I just recently wore through a pair that I've had for about the last year. Whether you're a carpenter, a framer, an electrician, a plumber, a tile setter, whatever you are in the trades, uh, you're on your feet all day long. So having something that's supportive is gonna be uh, just super essential for you. So like I said, I just wore through my last pair of boots. I got a new one right here. Boom, baby new boots all right so what i wanted to do is show you guys what i do anytime i get a new pair of boots i just want to let you know right now i am not sponsored by danner i have one pair of boots that i've really really liked over the last few years they're specifically the danner quarries and i've had these boots probably maybe five pairs in a row and they last me each about a year However, I've actually had bad experiences with some other models from Danner, wearing through them in three or four months, not having them be waterproof, not having them have as much foot or ankle or arch support as I normally have. So if you guys are big into boots, don't just be like, hey man, Danner sucks, or Danner's the only boot. You gotta find a boot that works for you, that fits your foot, that fits the style of work you're doing, Go shop around, go try a bunch of boots on, ask friends for recommendations. That's how I found the quarries. And you gotta find a boot that's perfect for what you're doing. All right, like I said, I just got these boots in the mail this morning. Oh my God, I love new boots. Anytime you open your boots, usually they're not laced up. So we got our patch of laces. We got our tongue flaps here. We got these gorgeous new boots. Look at that. Oh. They smell so good, much better than the boots I've been wearing for the last year. So what I do every time I get a new pair of boots before I lace it up is I hit them with oil. What I'm using here is Obanoff's oil. I have a bunch of friends who use Obanoff, some other you know, different types of beeswax. This is just a, a natural oil that helps waterproof your boot and it just gives it protection, hydrates the leather and usually just makes them last longer. Because we do a lot of work in the shop, but we also do a bunch of work out on our mill where I have to be waterproof, I'm in the mud. Using this oil on a regular basis is gonna help just make the life of the boot quite a bit longer and, and really help waterproof that boot, keep it strong for a long time. So all I do with these is grab the boots out. Let's get rid of the box. And this just comes with an internal dauber as you can see here, I just put it straight on this applicator and I just saturate the applicator just like that. And then you just rub that thing in. And as you can see, that's why it's helpful to not have the laces on there yet. Try to get it in all of the stitching, all of the lower areas, get into all the creases. You can see how it darkens up the boot color. However, when it dries, it won't look much different than when it came out of the box. You just work your way all the way around here. This is just hydrating that boot leather, soaking into the pores gonna make it last a lot longer. Now you can reapply this stuff on a regular basis. What I normally do is after I see some cracking forming in the boot or anything looking like it's getting kind of deteriorated in quality, 
is I bring it to the sink, I scrub the whole boot down, I let them dry, I get them as clean as I possibly can, and then I just reapply this oil as needed. Get it all the way up here, all the way down and around the tongue, which is just a different color oil inside the seams. Guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to get that good coating on there. So there it is. I'm gonna do the other boot. I'm gonna let these guys dry. We're gonna lace them up and they'll be ready to roll. All right, so as you can see, the oil has you know penetrated the leather quite a bit, soaked it up. We got our laces in all the way up. And just now that I have a little bit of excess stuff on the top, I'm just gonna take a rag around, just kind of buff it and wipe it all down, similarly to how we put on our wood finish. Actually, I bet you Odie's oil would probably work on a boot pretty well. So just hit it all the way around. And what's nice too is right when you hit it with that oil is it kind of just loosens the leather up. And I've noticed that it actually helps with the break-in process quite a bit. Right when I oil them up, you can feel that leather just loosen up just a fair bit. And it seems like they break in just a bit quicker. I really haven't had very much of an issue breaking in these specific Danner quarries, which is another reason why I really like them. And like I said, you guys, it's so important to go try on some boots, see what works for you. Each person's foot is different. Everybody likes a different width, a different arc support, a different um, sole format. And so these Danner Corys just work for me. I hope you guys find something that works for you. And these are pretty much ready to go. I love seeing fresh, clean, new boots. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold up side by side my old boots to these guys, throw these ones on, we gotta, gotta, gotta get back to work. All right, as you can see, these two pairs of boots look a little bit different. Really, these boots are still in good shape. However, the right side one, the sole I feel like was breaking down on me. My right foot was starting to hurt the balls of my feet. And so right when that starts happening, you guys, we're on our feet for like 10, 12 hours a day, every single day. There's no reason to stay bent out of shape over it. There's no reason to go home hurting more than you have to. Uh, and so getting these new pair of boots in, I'm super excited to go right back to work in them. Again, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you hit that like and subscribe button if you found this helpful in any way. Make sure you guys turn on those notifications. Stay tuned for more. Thanks so much for watching.